Well, you know, after doing so good on our last dive on the yellowtail numbers, we decided to go again. And uh, while we were hoping to shoot some fish, we were on the lookout for anchors because we knew that that was a definite possibility. Last time we tied a bunch of the anchor line because we didn't have a lift bag and we said we weren't going to do that again because it was just a pain to get up. But we did. I looked at the side of one. It's at 22 pounds. Now, is that that first one? No. No. Second one. Uh, 22 pounds was the little one. I don't know how much chain that dude had. A lot of chain. But, mister, you need to lighten up. That one's only like 20 feet from the anchor. They can run ahead in Craigslist and they probably be coming to this left and right. I can claim that knife. Huh? No, we're just pulling up our anchor. Uh, we are. Someone else's anchor. <laughs> now we're pulling up our anchor with some other people's anchors on it. Going down on that spot, we are finding anchors everywhere. I mean, it's just a magnet for anchors. And even when we fished it, there were a couple of times we had to go down on our anchor line because our anchor got stuck. It's just small structure and the anchor gets lodged. And there are really, there's several ways for an anchor to get lodged up. You know, one is it just gets hooked to the bottom and it gets wedged, the shank is over the ledge and this is under and it's just the force of the boat tightens it down and you just can't get it loose. Um, some people will try to zip tie the anchor to the end of the shank and then actually bolt it to the top of it and that way if it does get stuck that'll break away and it'll pull out but even that doesn't work some of the times. And sometimes, you know, the anchors, it wasn't the anchors that got stuck, it was the chain. The chain would get wrapped around the structure and then, you know, it doesn't really matter what you do to the anchor, it's, it's tied up. So there's nothing you can do and you just got to cut the rope and go on. Quick little tidbit. Keep this in mind whenever you're buying an anchor for your boat. You're taking this anchor and you go out to the middle of the ocean and you're going to throw this anchor overboard. It's only connected to your boat that little rope. Now also keep in mind the primary purpose of an anchor is to stick to the bottom. It's a secondary distant goal that that will come unstuck at your desired time. These things are meant to stick, they're meant to hold your boat in spot. So you know I wouldn't suggest buying an expensive anchor because there's a good chance you're going to lose it. I mean, it was made to get stuck. So don't put a lot of money into your anchor because you may lose that anchor and find yourself buying it back from us on Craigslist. Going after, you know, we started going after these anchors because they were all down there. You know, we were hoping to shoot fish, but we were getting excited about finding anchors. It was like finding a big fish or treasure on the water, you know? But man, we were, we were diving and after we found some good anchors and uh, sometimes we'd tie them to the anchor line and pull them up. A couple of times we'd actually take them up with us, which was tough. You have to hold on to that and plate your BCD, swimming up like this, kind of like a dead fish or dying fish. Besides the variety, we found a bunch of different sizes. We were finding eight pound anchors, 14 and 22 pound anchors. So, you know, we'd get them up that way. One time, this was actually worked out at least I thought it would work out pretty good. I see this rope, I'm like, that was a pretty new rope. Someone must have cut this within a week or so. So I start picking up the rope, following back, and I find the anchor. I'm like, okay, I unstick the anchor. I'm like, you know what? Why pull this up myself? I'll just go up with the rope, and I'll hand this rope off to my dad, and he can just pull it up from there. So you know I do that, I get to the top, and I have the rope. But as I'm at the top, I'm like, run out of rope. I mean, I'm up, but I can't go back anymore. So my dad's like, Come over here. I was like, no, I can't move. You gotta come to me. So he'd get close, but it wouldn't be close enough, and I just out of reach. So finally he came close enough I could hand him the rope and he could pull that up. And you know, we get really excited about finding it. It was almost like catching a big fish, you know. And we get back to the dock after a day of diving. People would, you know, drive by in the canal and say, Hey, how was your day? I was like, oh man, it was great. Did you get any big ones? I'm like, yeah, we uh, we got some eight pounders, uh, some 14, 22, and even a 35 pounder. I'm like, oh man, sounds like a good day. I'm like, yeah, man, it was off the chain. You know, we're down there diving and uh, we're getting about time to come up. So we're working our way back. 
And all of a sudden I look over and I see, you know, the Mac Daddy of Anchors, the big boy, Manson Supreme. We later found out it was 35 pounds, which is probably a little too big for us. So I go over there and, you know, we undo, unloosen the anchor, you know, take the chain off. And I go to pick it up, I'm like, dang, I can't really pick it up. I got my BCD inflated to the max, and I'm like, barely able to go. My brother, he's got a little eight pound fluke anchor in his hand. And we're trying to swim to the anchor, but you know, it's time to go up, we need to go up. So I'm like, Chris, just leave that anchor, okay? Uh, first he tries to help me by just grabbing the end of the chain. I'm like, no, 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 you gotta grab this anchor, because it's heavy. So he lets go of his anchor, and we both grab onto ours. We inflate our BCDs to the max, and we're just, barely going up. It is good, you know, not too fast, a good safe ascension rate. We get up, find the anchor line as we're going up, and we get to our safety stop at 15 feet. I'm like, well, let's, let's tie this anchor off. So we tie it off to our anchor line, um, but we gotta hold on to it still because you know, our BCDs are inflated, so we're actually, it looks like we're falling, like we're hanging, but we're actually hanging up because we're buoyant. It was actually one time, my brother kind of let go and he starts floating up. So I like reach out my hand and I grab him. And I've got the anchor in this hand. I felt like Captain America. I'm like, ah, just pull him down, like just like Chris Evans. So it was a good find. You know, finding anchors is uh, it's kind of exciting. A little little treasure. Kind of pays for our little diving adventures. It was uh, it was fun. You know, next time we're gonna do it, we're gonna get a uh, a lift bag. I think that's a good idea. Probably invest in that. I think it's worth it. But you know, be on the lookout when you're diving. You know, you find all kinds of stuff. We found tons of stuff out there. All sorts of things. Weights, you know, spears, all kinds of stuff, shafts. You never know what you'll find out there. It makes it really exciting and really fun. You know, keep the ocean clean, find some stuff. I'm sure you'll lose some stuff, but overall, it's exciting. Well, thanks for watching our video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Hope you learned some cool things you can do. And there's a couple things you saw us do today that you shouldn't do again, and we're not going to do again. So learn from us that way. Thanks for watching. For weekly updates, just subscribe to our channel, and we'll see you next time.